Oh my goodness, y'all, I am pumped. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have an album unboxing, and as you can see by these massive albums, we have Itzy's latest comeback, Guess Who? I don't know if y'all can tell, you guys probably can, but I am so freaking excited. I feel like I'm always hyped for an Itzy comeback, but I mean, who isn't? So yes, I finally have my albums here. Oh my god, there's been like a slight delay with these albums and honestly I didn't even know if they were gonna arrive today because like the shipment was on hold for a little bit but surprisingly it got delivered today. So yeah, I've been waiting super anxiously for these to arrive but here they are. I have all three versions, the day, night, and the day and night version. So yeah, let's get into it. I have some thoughts on these and I've been wanting to share them so Yes. Anyways, let's start off with the day version since it's- Oh wait, sorry. I let my excitement get the best of me. Totally forgot that there are these pre-order benefits as always, so we will go through these first real quick. Okay, so this time around, JYP did two different versions of these instead of like one like they did with Not Shy, so very happy about that. So anyways, um, let's go through this version first. So I believe these are like postcards like they usually do, but it comes with a random member photo card and these are like square shaped so they're a little different. Cool. Okay, wait. Oh, the photo card is right there. I just saw it. Anyways, let's look through these square postcards. Oh, whoa. These are super nice. They're like a nice mat. Ooh. I wonder what pocket pages these will fit in because I remember there are like Usually their pre-order postcards fit like um, four pocket pages and then their not shy ones were like huge. So I wonder how I'm gonna store these, but yes, those were the postcards. And then for the photo card, <gasps> yeah, okay. I saw the red hair and I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Yeji, but yes, I got Yeji. I love how they did like the backside now. I feel like a lot of groups are doing this nowadays and honestly, I love it. It's really like creative and stuff. And yeah, so on the back it says, who is the mafia? This is an absolute serve though. So yeah, okay, that was the first version. Now we'll get into this pink version. Did not see the photo card successfully but I honestly love this like pink version a little more. I don't know, this pink, this shade of pink is very like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a really pretty shade of pink. So love how they used it. These postcards are so nice though. Their outfits are amazing. Okay, so that was this pink version. And then for the photo quad, <gasps> Yuna! OMG! So yes, I got Yuna's pre-order card. Who is the Mafia? Ooh, I really like this like jersey sort of shirt. The styling this era is honestly really... I'm not mad at it, so yeah. Okay, let's look through this before we get into the albums. Okay, obviously the postcards are the same, but let's just look at the photo card. Let's see. One, two... Oh no, we got a duplicate. And it was from a different version too. Okay, so yes, I did get a Yuna duplicate, but no worries, I can just trade it. So yeah, anyways, now let's get to the albums. So first up, we have the day version. I feel like this might be my favorite version because like I said, I love the whole pink and the hearts aesthetic. It's so pretty. Yeah, so pretty, okay, anyways. Oh, let me take out my inclusions first. I believe I took out everything, so yeah, let's get started. Oh my goodness. Okay, so like I said, I was super hyped for this comeback, and okay, I know there's some mixed opinions about the title track, Mafia in the Morning. I've seen both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> I'm on Stan Twitter, so obviously, you know, I see everything, but personally, okay, so this song is definitely a grower in my opinion. I feel like this happened with like a lot of people too where this song is like more of a grower because I remember initially when it came out, a lot of people were like on the fence about it or they didn't really like it at all. But as like time passed, like that slowly like faded away and 
Now a lot more people like it, which is good because honestly, I do like this song. I remember like ever since they dropped the teaser and like the album spoiler, the freaking chorus has been stuck in my head for such a long time. I was like, when is this comeback coming? So yeah, I do have to say though, I guess like one con that I have with the title track is that I just wish there was a little more like singing, I guess, if you know what I mean. Like especially the first two verses, it's like all rap, which I didn't expect. And I don't hate it, but I just wish that there was like at least like one verse of like singing, you know, like it was kind of interesting how all of the two verses were like just like talking rapping, which isn't like my favorite type of rapping in like a song. But yeah, that's what kind of caught me off guard in the beginning. But now that I listen to the song more, it has grown on me. So yeah, but honestly, the second half of the song, I loved since the first listen. I think the pre-chorus and the chorus are like so catchy and so good. I'm always down for like a experimental song, I guess. I don't know if you would call this experimental, but as long as it's catchy, I'm not mad at it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Mafia in the Morning. I do actually like it. <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely a grower. So I guess if you weren't a huge fan of it in the beginning, give it a few more listens and you'll probably like it a little more. So yeah, okay. I'm sorry I didn't comment on the photo book, even though I said this was, my, this was my favorite version, but this concept has to be my favorite though. Like the heart lollipops, the whole like pink smiley face, like purple color palette is so pretty. So yeah, that's why this one's my favorite version. But anyways, now let's look at the... CD. Ooh, really pretty. Okay, so yes, that was the day version. And now let's go look at our polls. All right, so first we have this poster. Is this random member? <gasps> Ooh, it is. And I got Yeji. Ooh, it's kind of interesting how like the back is like a beware sign, but that's pretty cool. So here is Yeji's poster. And then, ooh, so is this a lyrics poster? Yes, okay. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I remember looking at the album details before I filmed this unboxing, but this is like a newspaper. I love this whole like mysterious like concept, you know, like this darker concept. So yeah, huge fan. And then what am I, what am I grabbing? What is this? Ooh, stickers. <gasps> OMG, wait, these are so cute. Ooh, so it's like their names and like and like hearts and smiley faces. Cute. Now, all right, and then we have our first photo card. <gasps> no way! Oh my god. Okay, so my bias is Ryujin and I collect her cards. <gasps> I've seen this card floating around and I actually pulled it. No freaking way. It's her with the heart lollipop. <gasps> this is such a... Okay, literally all the cards in this era are so freaking pretty. No fucking way. Oh my god. Dude, I've been having like good luck with my pulls recently, so... <sighs> okay, anyways, that was the first card. Second card... <gasps> Ooh, I got Yeji's heart um, lollipops photo card too. Oh my god. So it, it's like completely random, I guess, but... <gasps> Oh my god, this card is so pretty too. Oh, I love this concept. So pretty. Okay, yeah, so that was the first album. Oh my god, I'm like so like excited. All right, now we have the second version, which is the night version. Oh, I didn't really show that long enough, sorry. But y'all have probably seen this album like a bunch of times by now. But anyways, let's take out the polls. Pretty sure I took all of them out. Now let's get into this version. So, okay, in terms of this album though, like, yo, not gonna lie, I feel like this is like the first time I've ever really enjoyed an ITZY album, <laughs> like the B-sides. I'm usually not like the biggest fan of their B-sides. It's just not really like my personal taste in music. And I don't know, none of the songs have really stuck to me. I've said this before in my previous ITZY unboxings, but I'm usually more of like a title track fan, but this album, y'all, like, I feel like this is like one of their best albums like overall in terms of music. Ever since like the album spoilers actually, I remember when I was watching the album spoiler, um, I was listening to the tracks and I was like, okay, I think I might actually like this album. And yeah, it honestly didn't disappoint. I really, really enjoyed this album, like all the songs, 
My favorite one has to be kidding me though. Like I know a lot of people are huge fans of Shoot and I do agree Shoot is a catchy song, but kidding me? Why is no one talking about kidding me? Like I swear that is like such a bop. It's so catchy. The beats go so hard. Like literally I feel like kidding me is so like title track material. I feel like it's like a candidate for a title track, you know? It's honestly very, very catchy. The flow of the song is just right. I love how it's like a mix of like singing and rapping. And yeah, overall, I've been listening to Kidding Me. I feel like I've listened to Kidding Me more than Mafia in the morning, even though I really do like the title track. Kidding Me, such a bop, y'all. Like, please give it some love because it's my favorite b-side and it is so catchy oh my goodness but yeah i feel like okay so for the other songs um i feel like wild wild west is also a bop and also hmm either tennis or i'm i'm basically listing like every song but yeah this entire album is actually so good so yeah i'm so happy about that this entire era so far has been pretty pretty swell in my opinion so yeah the styling for this concept is a bit interesting, but I do like the neon green and yellow concept. I like it when um, the stylists like give them all different outfits, but they all like are coordinated somehow, like whether it's like the color scheme or something like that. I really like that. So yeah, usually I'm not a big fan of ITZY styling. If you guys have watched my other unboxings, especially for Not Shy, it was a little questionable, but honestly, I really do like these outfits. So yeah, like I said, this entire era is pretty good. So yeah, okay. I think the CD is the same, but there was that. All right, it's time for our polls. So for the random member poster, <gasps> Leah. Ooh, I feel like I don't pull Leah that often, so. This is a blessing. It's the back. Ooh. All right. And then this newspaper thing is like the same. I'm pretty sure it's just in orange. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and then are the stickers the same? Ooh, they're different. So this one's like more of a yellow concept, which matches. Cute. All right, for our first car. Oh. Oh no, is this a duplicate? Oh no! So I did pull a duplicate, but again, it's not that big of a deal, you know? But anyways, <laughs> it's still a really pretty card, so can't be mad at that. But we got the lollipop fusion again, and then for our second card... <gasps> Ooh, I got a different concept! Oh, whoa! How have I never seen the backs of these cards? That's so cute! Okay, so... I got Yuna's like crystal ball card, I guess. Oh my God, I didn't even know that the back had a picture on it. That's so cute. <gasps> wow. I feel like JYP really stepped it up with their album like packaging and stuff. It's really cute. <gasps> Ooh, that's so pretty. I keep saying the word pretty, but I don't know how else to describe it. So anyways, those are my pulls. Okay, now we have the last version, which is the day and night version. I feel like this is kind of like what they did with twice, you know, like more and more. They like combined the two concepts. So yeah. Okay. Let me take out my polls. Okay. But yeah, like I said, they combine like the two concepts into one. So I guess it's like cool if, you know, if you're only really planning on buying one version, you know, and you want the best of both worlds, you can just get the day and night version. So yeah, I guess that's a good reason why they combine it. But yes, now we can see the day version concept again, which is my favorite concept, honestly. I'm so glad that they finally like changed up their concept. I know everyone was kind of getting tired of the whole like, I want to be myself, I'm a badass concept. And now they like switched it to like a more like dark concept and it honestly suits them really well. I love Ryujin's like hair, the, <laughs> are these extensions? I'm pretty sure, but this like little highlights moment is so pretty. This outfit slays too. Yeah, honestly, did they get like a new stylist or something? Because I feel like these outfits are like really, really cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. I keep shitting on their previous like stylings, but yeah, the outfits here are really, really nice. So yeah, but okay. I remember, okay, so there was this thing going around on TikTok. It was like people showing how like the three, the big three companies would, how would they make teasers for their artists? And oh my God, the fact that JYP literally spoils <laughs> dead ass like the best parts or like the main parts of the song, which honestly just ruins it low key. You know, like, you know how in more and more he spoiled the, 
well, I guess I shouldn't say he, like they, as in the company, spoiled the dance break and then like the chorus in the beginning, you know? Why does JYP always spoil like the best parts of the song? I feel like it, that kind of kills the hype low key, you know? Like for Mafia, um, he's dead. Okay, I keep saying he, I'm sorry. They deadass keep spoiling the, the chorus and then the pre-chorus. I feel like those were the best parts of the song. But since they spoiled it, like there was nothing to be hyped about. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like JYP should really like take notes and listen to the feedback that they're getting from fans and like stop spoiling like the best parts of the song, you know? Otherwise, there's not really much to be hyped about since it's already been spoiled. I feel like I should do that. I feel like I should avoid watching like JYP spoilers or teasers just so I can like save the best parts for when I actually watch the music video, you know? I don't know. Does anyone else agree? Or do you guys like the fact that JYP spoils everything? Let me know if you guys like that or not. <laughs> so yeah, again, not really not bashing the girls, obviously, because they're not the ones deciding that. But yeah, but anyways, CD, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> Okay, I'm like so out of it today. So that's the album. Okay, for the random poster. <gasps> Yay! I got Yujin! OMG, my bias! Yeah! Oh my god, this poster is so pretty. All right, okay. And then we have the newspaper again. Okay, I'm pretty sure the pictures are actually different, if I'm not mistaken. So the picture and the colors are different. That's. The lyric newspaper and then the stickers oh oh so i guess there's only two versions of the stickers right i don't know but here's the yellow version again all right for our photo card <gasps> Ooh, another yuna wow i've been pulling the same members but <gasps> ooh, okay yeah they've been really elevating the backs of their photo cards too okay but this is the caution tape version <gasps> so pretty that's the back again and they actually wrote something too it's so interesting how in this photo card, this shirt looks yellow, but it's actually like neon green. But yeah, there's that. Okay, for the next photo card, imagine if this was a Yuna or a Ryujin. Oh my god, it's Ryujin! <laughs> oh my god. Y'all, I pulled the three same members. Oh my god. Even including the pre-order cards, I pulled Yeji, Ryujin, and Yuna. Oh my god, that is so crazy. Okay. <gasps> Not complaining though, because Ryujin is my bias, but I got Ryujin's caution tape version. Here's the back. That's really pretty. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I actually pulled out Ryujin and Yuna again. That's crazy. But yeah, that was my unboxing. So yeah, that was my unboxing of Itzy's Guess Who. Again, sorry if I seem like a little too excited or out of it. I literally drank a Duncan's cold brew, so I'm like extra energized right now. Again, if you if I'm too loud, y'all can just mute my videos. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.